We're in a new chapter, chapter six, about understanding division. This is 6.1. We're gonna do word problem solving and model division with counters. We can use the strategy, act it out, to solve problems with equal groups. We can use counters to draw circles around equal groups, then count the number of equal groups we made. We can check our answers by skip counting or by using repeated addition. Here we have six counters with three in each group. It'll make two equal groups. Emma has 12 flowers. She puts an equal number of flowers in each of four vases. How many flowers does Emma put in each vase? We need to find how many flowers she puts in each vase. We circle the important information. There are 12 flowers and there are four vases. And she's going to put an equal number of flowers in each vase, isn't she? We make a plan to solve the problem. We can act it out with counters. We count out 12 counters to represent the 12 flowers. We have Right here are counters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We draw four circles to represent the four vases, and we keep putting one counter into each circle until all 12 counters are used. We take turns, we put one, then we put one in this one, we put one in this one, we put one in this one, and then we go back and put another one in this one, and we keep taking turns putting counters into the circles. Put another one here, put another one here, and another one here, so that we have equal groups and all the counters are used. We can see there are three counters in each circle. That means Emma puts three flowers in each vase. Splitting up 12 counters into four groups, we have three in each group. Acting out a problem helps us understand and see what is needed to solve it. Bob bought 18 dog treats at the pet store. If he gives each dog three treats, how many dogs does he feed? We need to find the number of dogs. We need to circle the important information. He has 18 dog treats and each dog gets three treats. We make a plan to solve the problem. We can act it out with counters. We count out 18 counters to represent the 18 dog treats. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We circle groups of three until all the counters are in groups. That's one group of three, two, three, four, five, six equal groups of three. There are six equal groups. So Bob fed six dogs. We can imagine that each circle is a dog, and there's six of them, they get three each. They're equal groups. We can check our answer by skip counting by threes, or by using repeated addition. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And he had 18 dog treats. We can also do six threes, one, two, three, four, five, six. We do three plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. We add all these threes and it's equal to 18. So we know our answer is correct. Bob baked 18 chocolate cupcakes and 18 vanilla cupcakes. He puts six cupcakes in each box. How many boxes will he need? What do we need to find? We need to find how many boxes he needs for his cupcakes. 
We circle the important information. He has 18 chocolate, 18 vanilla, and puts six in each box. We make a plan to solve it. We add the chocolate and vanilla together to get a total for the cupcakes. Then we'll split the total into equal groups of six. We can draw 36 counters. 18 plus 18 is equal to 36 cupcakes altogether. We circle equal groups of six. We have made one, two, three, four, five, six equal groups of six from the 36 counters. That means Bob needs six boxes. We would have six boxes with six cupcakes in each box. Dave bought three packages of candles to have 24 candles. He bought four packages of forks to have 20 forks. Which item had more in each package, the candles or forks? We have 24 candles in three packages. We can make 24 counters and draw them into three equal groups. 24 split into three equal groups is eight in each group. The four packages of forks that he has 20 forks we make 20 counters and we split it into four equal groups. 20 split into four equal groups is five in each group. Which item had more in each package, the candles or forks? We can see the candles have more in each group, don't they? The candles have more in each package. Eight is greater than five, so the answer is candles. So we can solve problems and model division by using counters or drawing dots for counters. You could even use bottle caps or pennies or some type of coin to be your counter. And you can put them into equal groups and find out how many equal groups you have. We're going to continue talking about division in our next lesson. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.